With me is Dan Thomas, founder of the Top 50 Junior Tour. Dan, what makes your tour a must play for juniors who want to play college golf? Well, we have a few unique things that other tours don't have. Uh, first of all, parents like the idea of our scholarship points. Uh, students earn scholarship points through participation, rules of golf exams, essays, and some community service activities that we provide for them. Uh, those scholarship points are then multiplied by their graduating GPA, and then we send a check off to the university. So that's kind of a unique feature. Some other things we do that other tours don't do is we allow range finders. We have caddies. Uh, the parents can spectate, which do other tours do offer. Uh, and you'll find that most of our events are within an hour's drive, so you don't have to travel all over the state to, to play a tour. So uh, a lot of unique activities happening in our program. Your uh, tour is really uh, gaining popularity. I know you're in Florida and Arizona, but uh, and plus you're, you have three tours in Michigan, and now you're in a couple of other states I saw. Yeah, uh, we have three tour zones in Michigan. The Southeast Tour Zone is our strongest. Uh, Orlando's doing very well, and Arizona is starting to pick up. Uh, Ohio, we've had an existing program in Ohio. It just, uh, it just hasn't picked up speed like we'd like it to. But uh, we're slowly starting to get into bigger and bigger cities around the country with our program. Now, another thing that you're doing this year is that uh, you have still have the one-day tournaments, but now you've gone to more of a two-day tournament format. Explain the difference between a one- and a two-day tournament mm -hmm. and how that works. Well, sure. Our single-day events are actually two rounds. We have a qualifying round to get into the 18-hole tournament. Uh, so it is a one-day tournament. Uh, our 36-hole events are nationally ranked by Junior Golf Scoreboard, and uh, a lot of college coaches are looking at our results there. And uh, so we have either the 36-hole two-day event or we have a qualifying round with the uh, 18-hole tournament afterwards. You also have a couple of uh, interesting uh, programs that you're doing. You have the, uh, tell us about your charity where you have the, what is it, 10,000 holes of golf? Yeah, we have a, uh, what we're calling the 10,000 holes of golf. Uh, someday hopefully be a million holes of golf. Uh, it is a fundraiser for junior golf and for other charities. The, uh, the idea is for a, three students to get together with their high school coach or three students to get together with their local golf pro and go play 100 holes of golf. Uh, we've got everything in place to make it as easy as possible for the golf pros and the coaches to get pledges uh, all done online and they just simply go play their 100 holes and uh, raise money for their organization. So it is a very unique fundraising program that many people can take uh, part in. You also are um, a um, you know a PGA professional in terms of you know your teaching pro and that. What are some of the things that you try to teach to the students that uh, ask uh, to you know to get lessons and that from you and improve their game? Well, I have a uh, junior elite training program at Fox Hills. Uh, in the winter, we go to Oasis and and at Fox Hills when the weather's conducive. We it's heated over there, but uh, the program involves ten months, January through October. You can start it at any time, but the program runs through that duration. We give the kids uh, November, December off for the holidays and family. Uh, but during those five months, we're very active on the golf course training, uh, on the lesson tee, obviously, but uh, it's very specific to each individual. And the best way I could describe it is almost as though a college coach is calling a practice. You know, well, everybody comes to practice and everybody goes their separate ways working on what they've got to work on. And we do that several times a month. So it is a very successful program. Uh, this last year, out of our seven seniors, five of them earned scholarships somewhere. So we're pretty happy with our results. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add about the Top 50 Tour I haven't asked? Well, uh, just come on out and, and see what we're all about. Uh, I think once the parents understand what we're doing, they see it's a different product than the other junior tours. Uh, we do offer a lot more. Again, caddies, range finders, uh, the scholarship points, free rounds of golf. There's many different aspects to our program. It's not just another junior golf tour. So, we, and then plus the Midwest Junior Championships up at Treetops this year. So that's going to be kind of fun. I wanted to kind of follow up on that. And at that uh, particular um, tournament, at that resort, you're actually going to pull together all three Michigan tours. So you're really going to be able to see what your game's all about against kids from across the state. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's the Midwest Junior Championship up at Treetops. Uh, we bring in students from different states, different programs. Uh, it's some, best of the best are, are playing in this event. Uh, last year we had Michigan and Michigan State coaches there uh, watching the kids, so it was good.